Hello and welcome to Respect the Crit. I'm your host and Game Master, Ian Duncan. My pronouns are he, him, any. And today I am joined by some great people, some wonderful friends, and some amazing players. Please welcome Alex Herrera. Hello, I'm Alex Herrera, he, him. Uh, I don't know who I'll be playing today. This is a mystery because we're taking a, a small detour. But I have an idea and I'm going to wait unless Ian wants me to talk about it now. But I'm going to wait until the game starts to say who I am. Because Oh, gonna, yeah. Edge yeah. us. Edge, edge oh, us for sure. Oh, Definitely edge bit, us. Just a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was going to say some nasty shit when you started talking. Oh, I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not doing that. <laughs> we got to earn our, our 18 plus rating on, <laughs> on, <laughs> on an Apple podcast. Oof. Oof. <laughs> also, uh, helping us earn that 18 plus rating, please welcome back... Xavier Trudeau Duchenne. Surprise! <laughs> I'm back! Yeah. Uh, I love Star Wars. I love Star Wars. Me too, guys. I love Star Wars. <laughs> and I'm glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm Xavier, he, him. And uh, yeah, returning. This is just uh, dipping my toes in the Star Wars water for <laughs> what's to come. Uh, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I have no idea what the game is. Can't wait to learn how to play it. Let's do some Star Wars. Let's thing. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's no secret. Uh, uh, it's it's every out everywhere that you are joining us in our in our Star Wars campaign and and mm -hmm. and all campaigns moving forward, which is super exciting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very course. happy about it. Yes, yeah, thank yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. So we're we we might be down a uh, down a Jamie and down a Susan today but uh what we have lost in them we we have gained in a xavier oh. <laughs> it is oh. it is just us it is just us boys it is just lots us of, boys here lots oh. of elbow room yeah yeah <laughs> we can man we can mansplain or mansplay in the subway raunchy. right now put the legs out take up two seats on the train fuck it. <laughs> just really spread out and be <laughs> yeah. awful uh don't get it twisted though we are actually the very good boys and the chaotic gremlin energy comes from susan and jamie a hundred percent we are oh, we are oh, absolutely we are all very good boys yeah. and the best boys even yeah i think about going to church say. sometimes so <laughs> yeah <they're> twice <laughs> even yeah i think about it and so of course uh the the very the very bestest boys we are going to be playing a game we're not going to be playing uh the edge of the empire fantasy flight game we're going to be doing something a little different um and we're going to be playing a game called for the queen a game by alex roberts uh from evil hat productions uh who publishes the game and it's a very cool game. It's a really, it's just sort of like a, a prompt and response game, sort of like you come up with this fictional queen and pull cards and then sort of like create a story around around these prompts and a, a, around the questions that, that they pose. And that's kind of it really. And we're going to be putting our own spin on it, our own Star Wars spin. So we are, we are going to be playing for the emperor and obviously our our reigning uh, f uh figure here is is emperor shiv palpatine from the planet of naboo yes the senator senator palpatine now <laughs> grand emperor uh of the entire galaxy um and we are going to be his little inner circle and uh, gonna be doing stuff for the emperor so yeah uh why don't we just jump on in and and start playing this game let's go uh so the first thing that we do is we're going to go over the instructions and this is not only for us playing it here but also for listeners so they so they know what's going on but um part of the game is just like pulling these instruction cards and reading them off so let's just start with that um we'll go in in the order that i'm seeing you all so alex why don't you go ahead and pull the first instruction card and read the first card. Okay, go around the table clockwise, taking turns reading these cards aloud. So that's kind of interesting because we are in digital space. So mm -hmm. I'm going to assume Ian is the dealer. I am to the left of Ian, which would make Xavier to the right of Ian, but would make him to the left of me. So I think Xavier goes next to pick the next. Don't, yeah, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> let's have, let's <laughs> just have say one uh, of the two names. I'm about to just, I'm about to short circuit because I don't know. Like 
How do you do that? How does one... I'll go next. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I got it. go next. The land you live in has been at war for as long as any of you have been alive. Whoa. It's a little heavy. I mean, it's not wrong. That's, yeah, it. that's, pretty, that's pretty Star Wars. <laughs> you know, po- politics. I like that. I like that. <laughs> the emperor has decided to undertake a long and perilous journey to broker an alliance with a distant power. The emperor has chosen all of you and no one else to be his ret... Oh, I don't know this word. Retinue. Perfect. And, you did. And you, company, are you sure you didn't know that? No, uh, no. I just took a guess. <laughs> the emperor has chosen all of you and no one else to be his retinue and accompany him on this journey. He chose you because he knows that you love him. You are welcome to look through the emperor cards for inspiration if there is one that seems right for the group place it on the table to inspire your story well we already have we have a very glowering angry uh intimidating looking card of emperor palpatine big boy sheev set the card that reads the emperor is under attack do you defend him aside shuffle the red prompt cards and place them face down in the center of the table Put the Emperor is under attack card in the middle of the deck for a game that takes approximately 30 minutes or shuffle it into the bottom third of the deck to play for an hour or more. When you have read the instruction cards, continue clockwise with the red prompt cards, taking turns reading the questions out loud. Interpret these questions and answer them however you wish. Other players may ask you questions or make suggestions on your turn, but whether you answer those questions or include those suggestions is entirely up to you. Uh, Place the X card somewhere everyone can easily reach it. If you encounter a card or an answer that you don't want to be included in the game, tap the X card. That content is removed from the game. So you can't actually tap it here, but... um, just go ahead and say X or no, I don't tap, want to do that. Tap. <laughs> yeah, or tap, whatever. Or I'll do, I'll, I'll just do the, I'll do, uh, hold on, where's where's where? I'll do the air <laughs> horn. Yes, on Discord. Play, play an air horn from the air, <laughs> from the Discord sound panel. That would be great, actually. If you could do that, that would be wonderful. I mean, it's too far. It's like two buttons away to get there. <laughs> Uh, Xavier, please. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted by the soundboard. <laughs> by, by an air horn soundboard? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, just like every other time the soundboard is brought up. <laughs> if you draw a card that is removed this way, simply draw another card. You can X a card that you drew yourself. Uh, you can also pass on your turn. To do so, give the prompt card you drew to the next player and say, I'd like to hear your answer to this question. A prompt card can be passed around the table until someone applies the X card to it. Oh, okay. I see. Continue answering, passing, and Xing questions until the Emperor is under attack card is drawn. Each player should answer that question in turn. Then the game is over. Oh, so we answer, uh, do you defend the Emperor when he's under attack? And then the game is over. And Alex, for our final instruction. Whoever wants to can draw the first prompt card. But before you do that, why don't we talk about who we're going to be if we've decided on being anybody in the Emperor's Inner Circle. So, uh, Alex, you've been edging us this whole time, so I think yeah. it's about time for for some release. So why don't you go first? Sure. Uh, I was thinking about this today, actually, in the morning. The name, I just kind of arbitrarily picked alliteration, Eugene and Trino. Ooh, Eugene and Trino. Mm-hmm. Call me intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Eugene and Trino is the head of standards and practices for the Empire. Uh, also co-chairman of uh, the Human Resources Department. <laughs> Some people would say that I am a people person. Other people would say that I am a people person. They'd say it in those two different intonations. It's a joke if you didn't get it. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's an HR joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it kills at the conferences, I can tell you that. <laughs> Xavier, who are you in yeah. this inner circle? Who am I? No big serious ideas, but I, I, I have been thinking a little bit. And, you know, the fun thing with the Empire is that it's so big, so powerful, so 
omnipresent. Uh, but there's one thing in the galaxy that is finite, uh, more, way more finite than the, the reach of the Empire, and that is resources. And the Empire needs someone to sort of, you know, keep an eye, keep track of those uh, expanse reports and make sure that, you know, um, ships are being built, uh, the, the, the Star Destroyers cost a lot of money. You can't go around Mr. Emperor and just asking for more and more and more. Uh, we got, we, we, we have a budget. We, we need to make sure, uh, we, we have, you know, a red line. He is the, uh, chief financial advisor to the Emperor. I don't have a name. Uh, although <laughs> your suggestion of Glub Shito, was pretty good. <laughs> so I might be, I might be Glub. Uh, <laughs> Glub. <laughs> The CFA, shit CFA of the Empire, huh? Yeah, CFA. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I love it. Uh, there's nothing. There's there's nothing that defines like a tyrannical totalitarian empire, like crushing bureaucracy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I am going to be playing Yoop Tashu. He is an, an advisor to the emperor, um, one of them. Uh, he deals mostly as like the minister of the occult. Oh. So like all things kind of spiritual, spiritual adjacent, I guess. But the the things about like researching witches of Dathomir and like studying artifacts and like learning the history of the of the Sith and their origins and practice practicing their rituals it's like the emperor is is bringing like his assistant to the regional managers <laughs> yeah his tax like his tax accountant and like his <laughs> spiritual guru basically i mean yeah, 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 yeah. this gene youp and glub this is literally like the the president of the philippines in like the 1960s i think <laughs> was, was the marcos whatever the hell his name was the terrible human being but like he had like all these yes men with him who were like oh this is my occult leader this is like my minister of shoes or some shit like he just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. absolutely wild positions cool so we don't have to decide anything else that's just kind of who we are we're uh eugene and trino glub and youp cashew <laughs> And uh, now let's start. Let's start going on our journey. Who would like to pull the first prompt card? I will do it. This sounds perfect for Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> you are considered ugly by almost everyone you meet. How does the emperor make you question that perception? Hmm. Okay. And by question that perception, what does that mean? Like the emperor would make me double guess, or like double guess myself like maybe i'm not ugly or mm. well, or maybe I... it's maybe it's he doesn't deny that maybe it's that he doesn't deny your outward appearance and how off-putting it is but how you can use that as a weapon eugene mm. <clears throat> a strength I would like... a shield i would like to think and let me know if we're doing if i'm doing this correctly or not because i don't i don't understand the the, no wrong answer. The boundaries here. I would say Eugene, being the head of standards and practices and co chairman of the HR department, human resources of the Empire itself, including new constructions, new acquisitions, new uh, new companies that might fall under the Empire's purview, such as like security guys who are no longer no longer necessary on certain worlds, a la vis a vis Andor, the season one whole thing happening. Uh, he would go to these places with the emperor certain times when there was one of extreme importance and on some shuttle rides the emperor would make significant unwanted advances to eugene <laughs> causing him to second guess his hideousness because eugene uh with no particular alien species is ugly but eugene has just this face for radio you know um and it's i would say it's because of uh, childhood acne which he did not listen to his doctors or his parents <laughs> don't pop your pimples don't scratch your face he didn't care he didn't listen so he's got this Edwards James almost cheek going on on I'd say one right side so he looks like he belongs in the Empire for sure <laughs> but his demeanor and manner of clothing although officially okayed by the Empire 
make him look like a pencil pusher 110%. Um, so he's he's on, you know, he's on these visits, shuttlecraft visits, and the Emperor oftentimes would, you know, kind of, mm, seems it's just you and me again. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene would make it very clear that uh, this is a professional relationship, uh, your holiness. Uh, he doesn't even know what to call him. <laughs> I would guess that, that that's how he questioned his, uh, his ugliness, that the emperor hits on yeah. me from time to time. I, yeah, if yeah. you're head of HR and the emperor hits on you, like, who do you go to? Nobody. I have no one to turn yeah. to. You know one to turn to. It's just no alone out there. I'm just filing, I'm filing no. complaints to myself. Well the emperor yeah. has a unique appearance himself. Maybe he finds in you a kindred spirit. Well, he can find that kindred spirit on the hollow net, like all the other lonely boys uh, and girls out there. I, I, you know, we'd like to keep this relationship strictly professional, and I've told him at least 12 occurrences. I have them documented. Um, and I really don't like going on shuttle rides anymore. Uh, he is a little, a little too forward. I'll stop rubbing him down with the horny crystals then. Those, uh, again, I have to remind you, those are against the company bylaws, especially, specifically mentioned on uh, employee handbook document theta B. Not allowed any type of crystals or any other paraphernalia that would encourage eroticism. Uh, is highly prohibited. If they're your personal crystals, you cannot use them. Yeah, yeah. You, we ha you, you have to go through me. We've 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 talked about this. Oh, we must use the office crystals, the office horny crystals. I don't think Only those the exist. Office horny crystals. I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. No, those. Uh, there's no such thing. Do, do what is the horny crystal budget? I'm just curious. Uh, we can have three of those. Three. Only three. All right, we may need to have a little and you, chat. And you have lost one, <laughs> and I have an idea where it is. Yes, well, they wouldn't let me keep it after the um, surgery, so. Eugene uh, plugs his ears. <laughs> if I can't hear it, I don't write it up. Well, there go the other two crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Xavier, would you like to pull a prompt? When was the last time the Emperor showed you his real kindness, or showed you real kindness. Oh. That was the last time. It'd be tough, being that you are in charge of finances, <laughs> and he wants to conquer the Build a Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to recall. I'm trying to find in my memories the last time. It has been a long time. I've, I've served 40 years, 40 human years, oh, which is you know, wow. a lot for a human. Yes. 40 cycles oh, yes. is quite a long time. It should be said cycles, we, we're, sorry. we're all human, yes? We are uh, we're all yeah, humans? I, uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> in the, yeah, in our circle, maybe? Are you? Are you, Yoop? Yoop? Oh, I am 100% human. Only only uh, human supremacy in the Empire. Not, not, okay. that, not that anyone gets treated any differently for being anything else. I want to make that abundantly clear. We have programs in place to encourage our other sentient species throughout the galaxy. There's always opportunity for you in the Empire. The posters, although... Uh, you know, created and aimed at specific races. We uh, it does not represent the image that we hold within ourselves or within the organization. That is what I mean. Yes, human supremacy in an inclusive, you know, everyone is involved kind of way, e e equitable way. Yes, of course. Yeah, no, uh, no Mandalorians. Oh, definitely no Mandalorians. <laughs> because they don't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's the there's the last time he showed me kindness. He hired me. Fair point. Ooh, fair that point. was nice. Forty years ago. Forty years ago, he hired me. When he was but a senator. He, <laughs> 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 he was way chiller back then, right? He was... Mm. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, something about that Naboo air, I would guess. Oh, yes. He, 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 yeah, he used to take long strolls by himself. Mm -hmm. On the on the sand-covered beaches, yes. He used well, to love that sort of thing. He, I heard he recently had a change of heart. Sand is coarse, and it gets everywhere, and I'm not sure if, you know, he, he shares ideology. He just needs to be reminded of his chill Naboo self. I think the whole being attacked by the Jedi really fucked him up in a way that... Uh, he needs to. He needs to get back to his. We don't. Roots. Uh, we don't. We don't. We don't use the J word. We don't use the J word. 
Oh, that's off the table too. Yeah. Okay, well, there's fair. there's two there's two J words, and that's one of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I know what the other one is. Yes. <laughs> what? Why don't you tell us, Golub, about how he hired you? Was that that was a that was a memory that stuck yes. with you? When when he was but a senator, I was in charge of the blockade. Did you know that? Oh, I w- I remember the blockade mm. of Naboo. A contentious. I have seen it. Yes. Yes. Mm. Very that's interesting. interesting. That's a big one. That's a big one. You didn't put it on your resume. <laughs> I didn't see it on there. I mean, I we, we talked about it over coffee. Um, some things some things were embellished, uh, but the bottom line is, I was there. I knew I knew some people. They gave me some inside information, and, and, and enough for me to fake it till I made it. Mm. You know. But yeah. Our, our holy emperor was very impressed, Mr. A senator back then, um, and he took, t- took me in his electrical uh, p- uh, pod. Uh, he, he, it was brand new back then. There were, there were no, like, he, he had one of the first ones. Mm. He showed me around. It was a nice little ship he had. Wow. Uh, yeah, he showed me around the town. We, we, went, uh, we went to his little private island. Okay, well, I'm gonna. There? I have to stop you right there. We don't talk. We don't talk about the. <laughs> he seems the to island. be doing that a lot. Huh? Oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. That's not. Uh, whoa, 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 we don't talk about the island. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Club. There, there's no proof. Well, it's just the no three proof. of us. Uh, there's no proof, club. There's no proof. There's an island. There's no proof. Officially, yes. <laughs> well, that sounds absolutely lovely. I think. Yeah. Yes. How I, I, how I dream of to go to the island with our emperor. Again, <laughs> again there's no... You don't. The day's not over. I was not, he's, been, no he's been an old fart, though, for the last few years. Yes, so. a lot of I'm stress. Actually, a lot of stress. Oh, stress, mainly. I'm, I'm starting to fear age might be doing some things to the man, mm-hmm. the poor, poor man. Yes. He's not taking yes. the best decisions. No, Let's not, not get ahead of ourselves. We're not, uh, ageism is a very prevalent issue in other organizations, but not in the Empire. I mean... <laughs> okay, you're, I'm sorry. You are right. Uh, I don't want to get any more lawsuits, so we don't talk about ageism. Or islands. It's just the three of us. We're, it's it's fine. It's fine, Eugene. Yes, you can let it all out, Eugene. Okay. Well, you have the power to shred those files. Oh, shred files? <laughs> There's no mention. No one said anything about shredding until now, which did not. And you can have happen. any of these stormtroopers killed and all the surveillance destroyed. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I don't. I. Let me pull a card. Let me pull a card. Right? Yes. You arranged for the Emperor to be ambushed on this journey. Oh, what did they offer you? I am actually going to pass on this one. I do not think that Yoop's, Yoop Tashu's relationship with the Emperor is one of, of betrayal. No, it is, it is one of, of pure loyalty and submissiveness. <laughs> the power of the Sith. Um, so, no, I am going to pass on this. Would anyone else like to answer this prompt? I think I would. I would like to answer this prompt. Go for it. Uh, well, <laughs> you see, when you work in standards and practices for an evil galactic empire, oftentimes you get stepped on. And, you know, much like this hollow vid I once watched, I once watched of this gentleman who lived in a very busy city, and he got, you know, his 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 place of employment let him go for reasons beyond his control, and he lived in this mini metropolitan area, not like our Coruscant, much smaller, and just the world around him ate him up and spit out his soul, and then once it was done, it stepped on his soul and pissed on the soul and did all other kind of atrocities to what was left of it, he finally snapped. And I, Eugene and Trino, head of standards and practices, co-chair of the Human Resources Department for the Empire, have also snapped you know how many times I've had to stop him from saying both J words continuously in private <laughs> meetings? Mm-hmm. Do you know how yeah. many times I've had to bypass other species for promotions just because he didn't like the fact that they had four arms, or the fact that they had three eyes, or the fact that they had hair growing out of their 
space where their throat should have been. No. No longer is Eugene and Trino a continual cog in the machine. No, no, sir. Eugene and Trino was contacted by the rebels. <laughs> you see? And with my unlimited access to documentation, designs, resources, even my own private checking account, Mr. Club. I have been able to not only hire mercenaries to gift the rebels for this joyous reunion they're about to have on the second Death Star, but also I've been able to purchase ships and weapons for them. And I'm quite afraid that when we arrive, that armada of rebel ships will be quite operational. But um, tell me, Eugene, what did they offer you? <laughs> the only thing that the Empire and the Emperor himself never could. Respect. Freedom. Loyalty. Loyalty that can only be found in those that have a conscience and a heart. And you, my friends, are welcome to join in this new republic of sorts, or you can burn with the Emperor himself at the end of our journey. I have found that the Emperor does hand out respect, but only for true strength when he sees it and finds it. And you must have to go through a crucible of, of pain and humiliation and torture and disrespect, but... Uh, I find that even the boot of our leader is a warm presence. Some people would call that a boot licker, my friend. And I'll have you know that Eugene and Trino is done licking boots. I will say this, though. I'm a little bit nervous that you have everyone's phone numbers and addresses just oh. readily available. Your galactic network numbers as well. Your GNNs, if you will. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that eight-digit series of numbers that can get you a cell phone. It's always the quiet ones. It always is. Ah, oh, you too. Ah, oh, well, this, tra this trip has been enjoyable at the very least. You have two very opposite and different and very mm -hmm. entertaining views on our employer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Palpatine remains just that, you know. You could quit at any time, Eugene. <laughs> uh, you don't need to go that extreme. And you, Yoop, um, same thing. You're all going to quit at any time. Oh. Just saying. I, I never would. I've, I've, never. Seen, I've seen the files of what happens to those who quit. It's not exactly uh, a great uh, severance package. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say they are given quite the <laughs> severance yeah. package. I, I, mm, I believe the words Sarlacc Pit are in there somewhere. Well, we can enjoy this journey until the inevitable <laughs> rebel destruction, I suppose. It's nice to know there's something to look forward to, at the very least. And have we decided we're on we're on the way to the second Death Star, yeah. too? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is, it's already gone down. The first one's already gone. Yeah, this is the second one. Oh, <laughs> Glup, you are probably just a ball of anxiety. I, I wouldn't want to be the person who signed off on the construction of the second one. Have you even slept? There are There is a ritual I can do for that. It will require some of your blood, uh, saliva, and semen. That's off-hours off business, so I don't get involved in this. Totally your world. What do you do exactly, you here at the Empire again? I provide... A very necessary service for our emperor in terms of the education and research of all things spiritual, of occultism, and ways in which to both fight and strengthen one's spirit against and with those things. Without me, our emperor would be totally lost. Uh, you think it's bad now, Eugene? Well... Without my little whispers in our emperor's ear, it could be so much worse. I am, I, I am a, I am a, I am a sluice gate. I am a, I am a, I'm a palisade. You are a eighty-five thousand dollar, eighty-five thousand credits a year 
expenditure. Exactly. Without you, maybe the ship we're on could withstand rebel fire, but I don't think it can. Oh, where's... Well, no, they know how to shoot this ship. We're safe. It's it's the Emperor they want, so the, the whole mission... This ship is fine. Trust me. Oh, we're safe. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, yeah good. we're fine. Yeah. Good. No, no. No, it's not safe. We had to cut corners. What? You- it cannot... It cannot take rebel fire, I'm telling you. Ah. Well, then... It is cheap. It is the cheapest frigate we made. We have, uh, uh, is there, are they all like this? I'm assuming since they're all ordered from the same vendor. And, and surely we have the, the, the military fodder to stand between us and these rebel scum. It's like paper. One laser can go through three. <laughs> okay, the, the most recent I, battles make sense now. Mm, mm, I didn't mm-hmm. think we'd get ambushed. The well, thing is, I, I hear you can put shields on a tie, but we just couldn't afford it, right? Why is the batteries? The new batteries are making. It's oh. impossible to get one. All the suppliers are back ordered. That's that's not true. More that's rebel interference again. That's another thing. I, I I'm not gonna put the blame squarely on myself for that one, but uh, it, I may have had a hand in diverting. Uh, supply chains to other locations. For example, the outpost on Hoth following the attack on Hoth may have received the uh, those batteries you're mentioning for Star Destroyer class ships on the planet. And if anyone had actually looked into it, they might have suspected something, but because of the layers of bureaucracy that are involved, no one really looked at why Hoth outpost was getting those batteries. So you've been Stewing for a long time, huh? When's the last time you took vacations? I don't get vacations. I'm not allowed. As co-chair of HR, I, uh, I unfortunately waived my right to vacations when I accepted the promotion. Sorry, <laughs> when I was forced to promotion. You have unlimited sick days. Not if you're co-chair of the HR department. No, you don't. Oh, this is a burden you're imposing on yourself. Mm-hmm. Again and again I, and again. Yes, you know, I, I, st- I think I would agree. Well... The stress you're feeling, you're taking out on all of us and our emperor and all of our paper thin ships. <laughs> this is this is your doing. You need to really step back and and take some you time and heal yourself. I have some crystals that I can I can let you borrow, gentlemen. I have a ritual that I will just need your blood, your uh, saliva, and your semen. No to all of no to all of that. That's a big N O capital N O in in. Uh, mm-hmm. Our language. You're lost. I have a feeling the closer we get to that ambush, the more willing you'll be. I, no, no, you. I have lost so many things to be where I am now, and I'm willing to lose the most ultimate thing, my life, if that's the case. Like I mentioned before, gentlemen, the rebel plan isn't to attack ships individually. The ambush itself will occur at this second location, this second Death Star, if you will, which I don't have specifics on the cost, but I know that, uh, Glub, you yourself have had quite an interesting time balancing those books for getting all the payments. Can't you just find the, find the money? Just find it? Can't you just find it somewhere? I would love Look around, to, fix, cook those books? I think I there's hear. somebody, there's 85,000, uh, credits a year that are going somewhere that probably should be it's more like somewhere zero very, credits. Somewhere very necessary I, I should add. Somewhere where with without without that backbone uh, our, the pillar of our empire would simply crumble. Doesn't Ewok Skull stop lasers more than a paper thin frigate does? Oh friend it can with the right incantation. Then you're fine. Then we're all fine. You hear that club? Yoop is going to save us with his Ewok skulls. I have no idea what any of you are saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor thinks more highly of you than you do of yourself. How do you know this? Because you, well. you, you can attach a PDF to an email. <laughs> <laughs> Get me my reading glasses. I can't quite see this PDF. It's too small. No, the answer is quite simple, really. And it's nothing to write home about, but... um. Everything the emperor, the emperor requests, I approve. I say yes. Then when he is not here, I have to deal with what I just did. And I have to go to the engineers and the workers and tell them, <laughs> Oh, sorry, buddy, no holidays this year. And I have to say, yes, do it, but without the hammer. And I have to go 
all around the known empire reach and make sure that these costs are being kept extremely, extremely low. But the emperor does not know. He cannot know. The emperor must think everything is being done according to his demands. Glove, I, I had no idea you were so flexible. I would have asked if I could have taken more time off as you suggested. Also, you are aware we have proxies. As C-level, C-suite executives, we have proxies that we can send to different reaches of the galaxy. There's not, it's not necessary for us to, to go ourselves. And I hate to point out the obvious, but you don't have to take those trips by Starfleet in person. You can use the hollow communicators. Yeah, do we have everyone has their own log I know it's 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 a chore to refresh the password and to get the login and then if you lose it you have to talk to IT creator forbid you have to talk to the IT department. But I I I I understand. I would rather the Emperor shoot lightning right up into my own dickhole than to talk the IT would, department. You? Yes. We know you would. Yes. I I've, I've found that if you Create a ticket, is what they call it. I'm still not quite sure the process, but if you create a ticket, they're actually quite gentle when speaking with you. Huh. I'll have to never try that. What were we saying? <laughs> yeah. I'll, 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 let me bring let me bring us back to topic. Yes, shall please. we? <laughs> I love that. Like the emperor just thinks you're great because <laughs> you just like approve he, he thinks that it's all being done around him but it's yeah. really like being held together with like crazy glue it's, and popsicle sticks yeah stick. tape all the all the stormtroopers being inaccurate is because they ordered like the wrong calibration device for the helmets yeah, exactly yeah. like i have to go myself because i take public transportation because <laughs> everything else proxies and that technology is too expensive that's too much well, have i been using as my proxy then for the last three cycles i know stop it <laughs> i was once summoned to a private meeting with the emperor once it was i was so very excited my heart was palpitating palpitating for palpatine if you will and i was sweating and preying and all kinds of things but it ended up being rather disappointing, I must say. I had learned very much about Sith culture and about the importance of two Sith intertwining their lives and their strengths and their energies and their ethers. I don't. All that is not allowed. I just want to let you. I just want everyone in the well, ride this right was now. No, private. This was a private meeting. Sure. What you think is private is actually recorded via the Emperor's desires. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's right. We are. Uh, this is a horrible surveillance state. Uh, yeah, we please. are being recorded no, no. at all times. You may continue. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Don't worry about it. The the security cameras are just decoys. Like they're just there for show. Oh, wonderful! Oh, Great. Do anything. Lovely. They're just so, you just stick them on the wall, and they're just there to deter. Easy to those. bypass. Okay, it's then easy to infiltrate any hangar bay. I can throw <laughs> all these out, and he has like all these complaints. He just tosses them through an airlock. Shoot, <laughs> <laughs> shoot. Uh, but yes, I, I I I had learned all of this about about Sith culture, and I that 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 the very essence of, of Sith were embroiled in this rule of two, and I implied very heavily, I m must be said, that I was hoping the Emperor was calling me in to uplift me to not just the, the status of occult minister, but to uh, his apprentice. And unfortunately, that, um, that did not happen. He mm. simply wanted to order some more of the horny crystals, <laughs> and that was it. Uh, wow. Not even a thank you. No. Can you no. imagine? I, and I, I know that is his way. I, I know that is his way. I, I do not fault him for that, but... <sighs> you have a dream in reach, you know, and you just see it be held in front of you, just waggled in front of you and then just snatched away so 
so abruptly, so callously. It hurts. I mean, it, that's, it does that's, hurt. That's the truth. That's kind of the way the Empire works. Uh, and as co-chairman of Human Resources, I have to let you know that one of the complaints is very... A lot of the complaints were very similar to what you just stated. So you're not alone in feeling as if you've had your goals and, and, and aspirations waggled, as you said, in front of you. Which, by the way, is on the list of no-no words. You can't use waggle that much. Oh, we can? That, you, not, no, no. It no implies waggle? that there's, there's some sort of uh, pseudopod or some sort of limb, or if it's uh, something's waggling, that should be waggling. Very discriminatory. discriminatory yeah. yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, sense. That yeah. makes sense. All right, so Jedi, Jar Jar Binks, I'm assuming, and <laughs> yes. Waggle. Yes. Yeah, yes. all right. Yep. Yes, all those, okay. Yeah. Well. You, said, you said both the J words, so I'm going to have to write you up for that one, but it doesn't really matter <laughs> because by the time we reach the second Death Star and this paper-thin ship lands there, we're all going to catch on flames. So. <laughs> Excellent. I can't believe it was Jar Jar. Though. <laughs> <laughs> and you nailed it. <laughs> okay, uh, Alex, one. please, yeah, yeah please. It's been a while. The Emperor is responsible for the death of someone you loved. Who and what happened? Oh, oh my juicy. Okay. Spill the tea. Is real. Yeah, this yeah. Spill the all, tea. All I wasn't always uh, the head of standards and practices. Not the sole head. And as I keep mentioning co-chair of human resources there, there was another. A bubbly, bright, sophisticated partner in human resources. Someone I admired. Uh, you would say even loved. And it was reciprocated. And it was kind of when the downfall happened. The emperor assumed that this second half of human resources was not pulling their weight because I simply had done more as co-chair of HR and head of standards and practices. I was doing the work of two, and my, my partner, unfortunately, was struggling with her duties, and, uh, well, let's just say, uh, there is an extra corpse, electrified corpse, uh, floating out there in the outer rim. That's when I knew. That's when I vowed that I would get my revenge. The final snap. Just like in that Hollywood I watched where that gentleman went into the work and was unceremoniously... What was the title, uh, was the title I, of that Hollywood? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't believe we can say it for legal reasons. Uh, <laughs> no, but what what was the space name for it? <laughs> right. It's okay. just it's just the 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 name and then space in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me look up if I can remember it's the right movie. Hold on. <laughs> what was it called? Ian, what, it, it's called a uh, I don't know. Uh, what, which, uh, which, I don't sure it, it's one got it's got uh, it's got the guy from Ant-Man. Oh my god, I'm some spacing. Holy shit, what is his name? Uh, not, old old actor, an, handsome. Back office in the day. space, is it? No, 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 no. It's a, uh, it's like an L.A. vigilante. Oh, it's not falling down, falling is it? Falling down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I was gonna say falling down, but I was like, there's no way he's referencing falling yeah, he's down. Falling down, yeah, it's falling <laughs> the down. Angry, angry, privileged white man movie. <laughs> yeah, he just like goes out. Like, oh, I've had it. Yeah. <laughs> That's I believe, wild. I believe it's called Drifting Out, I believe, is the title of the Howl vid. Oh, yeah. good one, good one. Yeah, good, it's, good. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a watch. It's definitely, it's a tough watch. You know, Eugene, if death is not the end. No, I'm going to stop you right there, Chief. No. And okay. if you can find a way to get that body, I'm just saying, I can bring her back. That 8,500,000 8, credits isn't looking so superfluous anymore, is it? Whoa, 8,500,000? 8, I thought it was just 85,000 credits. Are you... Did I... What did I say? What do you think you said? 85,000. No, that's not... <laughs> that, that's, that's not... No. Hmm. Like, speaking of salaries, um, there's no openings at the moment. There's no way we could pay her again. Oh, I, I don't plan on using this cheap magician's tricks to use a long debunked form of necromancy to bring oh, good, back my because love. You, you, you can't use um, company material for uh, personal purposes. Of course okay? I, yeah, I'm, You know that. Mm. I'm, yep, oh, I'm that's aware. true. Yes, she is considered yeah. company material. 
Which so, is why she's still floating in space, property of the Empire. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Sorry about that. It's okay. We'll join her soon. You can tell her to her spirit face why you why, why you accept her death when we all burn on the second Death Star. Can we just chill on our way to death? Like, can we just... I would like ta- that. You, you're, you two are stressing me out. Oh, we're, stress, we're stressing you out? Not the fact that the budget you pulled miraculously to construct a second weapon of mass galactic destruction is about to be destroyed? Can I, I Can I say something? And I'm, I'm trying to be real with the both of you. I, I apologize if I'm stressing you out, but this is... I'm loving this. Like, we do not talk like this I, ever you know yeah. that's like, what i mean that that's what i mean i Can have to we say, not yeah. spoil this yeah this has been nice this i mean i normally talk to the little figurine i have on my desk but speaking to other we know sentient we beings, know what do you what do you mean what, what? well it's all where well, it's everything surveilled we know oh i mean that's fine it's fine yeah it's like keep doing it no shame well i don't have to keep doing it we're gonna die when we get to the second death star most likely I'm still hoping that the rebels won't show up. Considering I mean, the amount of, of credits. little faith. The rebels he are of pretty little good. Faith. Uh, they're pretty good they're at what busy. they do. I mean, I would they're think busy. you would know how successful they are based on the cost to destruction analysis presentation you presented about, what, six yeah, months ago? Yeah, they're very efficient. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They yeah. were scattered on Hoth, and who do they have with them? Mon Mothma? Ugh. Sorry, oh, yeah, she's me. boring. Boring. Uh, have you heard boring. any? Boring. the wiretap speeches that she gives? Ugh, come on. Hope? No. Give it up. You got to go with despair. That's a great emotion. Despair works so well. Thank you. I Thank love you. despair. Yeah, I, it's lo- one of my I love despair. I have my despair t shirt on. Oh. <laughs> oh I lo- where did you I, get that? I, you, they don't have those in the company store. Did you make that? Uh, my wife did. Yes. Oh. Nice. Oh, that was, a, that was a, Also, you have happiness. That's great. You will have to send her, her a link to her space Etsy store, please. I mean, that's it. That is if, if we make it out of this, but probably not. Well, even if we don't, death is not the end, my friends. Oh, okay. Well, you can necromance yourself back from the dead with your own f- cold, dead hands when we get to that point. I mean, I'm listening. Like, if if it comes to that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Let me pull a prompt because I think I skipped <laughs> myself. <laughs> pull from what? What are what? What are you saying? <laughs> let, I mean, let let me just continue this wonderful conversation. That Let's pick a new topic. <laughs> yeah, one more n- a new topic. Yes, the emperor gave you a compliment once. What was it, and why have his words stayed with you? One time when I was performing. Let's just call it a ritual. Get safe, okay. Yes. Uh, for I'm trying to keep it professional, you know. Keep I'm I'm I see your boundaries, Eugene. I'm respecting <laughs> you, them. Eugene has like a pen and just like clips. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> right on a clipboard. Get safe, okay. And the Emperor said that I had just the softest hands that an octogenarian like me could have and you know i i i i take pride in in my outward appearance and Hmm. i i i i I do like to moisturize oh yeah look at that look at those hands yes yes aren't they aren't they feel them touch them beautiful yes go go on soft like a baby Mm, Wookie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just like a baby Wookie. The soft, downy fur, you know, before it gets all coarse and matted. Yeah, all the, like, transparent fur. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, love we love it. Uh, but I, I don't know why. That just stuck with me. So, he, he thinks I have soft hands, and he enjoyed it. He has it in him. He can recognize soft. Mm, he can also recognize... Uh, life-altering scars, because he called me prune face once. Hmm. Well, you're not very pretty, you know. No, you know I, no, I know. That's the point of what I said. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. And that's oh, a oh. compliment. That is a compliment. <laughs> oh, well, I prefer if he kept his compliments about my face to himself. As but well he as came on to you. He likes you. After he murdered my co-chair of the Human Resource Department, a.k.a. the love of my life, 
He didn't like her. No, he didn't. I mean, some would like you. consider that the the most compliment. That's the move. Yeah, you know, kill the ex and get with the the person they want. That's he hasn't that's a power move. Yet. That's a power he move. He hasn't he hasn't given up on you. Well, you will be dead. No one's gonna give up on anything because they'll be dead in a few more. Hours, I would assume. You saw the Emperor do something terrible to keep the retinue safe. What was it? Did you come to respect him more or less afterward? Hmm. I forgot about the retinue. That's us. Oh, that's oh, the group. That's <laughs> yeah. right. That's us. And whoever, and I imagine like Praetorian guards, stormtroopers, all kinds of the mouse Dar- droid. Darth Vader's probably around <laughs> here somewhere. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm kind he, of glad. He likes his egg. He likes his little <laughs> yeah. egg. Yeah, I, I haven't seen him leave the room. It's it's kind of good that that happened because normally I think he could sense my anger because that's kind of their whole thing with us. It so yeah, I, uh, I would be spotted right away. But you know, we're just talking. It's amongst the three of us, right? I mean, mm-hmm. us, us, and the Yoop. mouse droid that comes by every now and then. But yeah, we're having a ki- we're having a kiki. <laughs> Yoop, I feel like you haven't been completely honest with us. Well, you know, a minister of the occult needs to have his little secrets. I know you've been on the island with him. I know. I can, I you can't, can't fine, keep fine. pretending you haven't, guys. I, I have to admit something. The island is real. There's a real island. I, oh, we know. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was there, you. P- oh. Well, I am. I firstly apologize for nothing. Um, because I'm just standing in my truth, and the island was a safe place for me to be who I am. Precisely. What you did back there, that ritual you did. Very sober and very, you know, um, Platonic ritual you did. I mean, there were sixty-six uh, orphans that you had to sacrifice, but yes, yeah, sixty. That is a number that the emperor does like. Sixty-six. It comes. It comes yeah. up often. Yeah. Yeah. Every sixty-six. F- everything. Fire, I had to fire sixty-six royal guards. You know how hard it was to even get through one. And how upset they get, and what they do with those stupid staff that they carry around when they're upset. Even the emperor's. Jersey, his number is 66. 66. Oh, he retired right it. on the back. Yes. Yeah. He, yeah. he made a jersey for himself only to retire and like Framed, just yeah. put up just put on the ceiling. Bit, yeah. <laughs> yep. Is that the, the thing that he did to keep the retinue safe? Uh, not, not, the sh- not the shirt, but the kids. <laughs> the ritual you did. Oh, yes. Oh, I witnessed yes. it. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Um, and please continue. I just want to know was that to make us live forever? You have to tell us if it makes us live forever. Definitely, well, that's one of the rules that's that's in the handbook. This was this was something that um, the, that the emperor did ask me to do. Of course, he execute sixty six orphans, and although it was fun, um, it was a lot of work. And mm-hmm. um, I'm sorry you had to go through that all that work. Oh, I'm so sorry. I you know I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, 66 of them, give or take. But, uh, nice. <laughs> but, um, it, it, this ritual, the, the, the emperor, you know, he, he likes to hedge his bets. He likes to, he likes to be sure of a thing, you know? And so that's why, and I, I wanted to surprise you, both of you. Um, but don't worry about the paper thin ships uh, or the uh, inevitable rebel strike on the uh, new Death Star. Um, I did do a little protection ritual, and I think we're all gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. No matter what okay. happens, everything's gonna okay. be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Where's the where's the mini fridge on this? Let's let's open up a bottle. Let's, let's open let's something up. This. This is fun. Yes. Yeah, 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 just yeah. just just let's get comfortable. Just Java juice for me, please. If it's okay, if no, it's we got it. Okay, there is some. Thank you. That's on the budget. I prefer the canned version, but yeah, yeah. When did you know you were in love with the emperor? <laughs> there it is. 
I mean, we can pass twice. Yeah, you remember, can you can pass. Oh, yeah. if, if, you're, if you're not feeling that in the fiction, like, you can I, pass yeah, I don't it. Think it. I don't think it works for the lore we've built up for Eugene here. So Eugene will pass. He'll look. He'll look. He'll look to Yoop. You know, Yoop, I've come to realize something uh, through. And he holds up his little digipad clipboard with his, like, imperial apple pen. Taking these notes and kind of cross-referencing data points here. Yeah. You know, thankfully, taking data from uh, Glub's database of finances and charges. I just have one question for you strictly about business here. When did you fall in love with the Emperor? Well, that seemed less of a question and more of an interrogation, but I will happily answer. Day one. Day one. I was a big Sheev Senator Sheev Palpatine fan have been since uh, the beginning had his trading card and there was just something there was just something stately about him that I just was drawn to and I think that there is a darkness in him that was always there that I was just like ooh I can fix him you know <laughs> Here's your drink, Yoop. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> Thanks. you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Eugene. Oh, pi you. piping hot just the way I like it. Mmm, <laughs> chill Jawa juice. This is new. Oh, hot cocktail. <laughs> it's like, it's got, it's like got that, like, uh, the dry ice like dry bubbles, ice. yeah, <laughs> like coming up out of it. And so it's like a scream, a scream swirl that comes up out of the top. I like to think that Jawa juice comes in like a buzz ball container. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i should say i should say from day one yes just love just love the guy just well, love him it makes sense why you would perform an immortality ritual to protect all of us but really it, well, i would have just done it for him i would have just done it for him um i think that counts as me answering a question though right <laughs> so back <laughs> yeah. to savior yes <laughs> okay what do you do to disappoint the emperor on this journey, he found out about what the. Do I do? He found out about the <laughs> the irrelevant OKs being powerless. Yeah, I get beep 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 beep. Oh, what is this? Oh, is got that a message? Oh, the life oh, is happening live. My data pad. Oh. What is this? Excuse me. You can keep talking. Uh, um. Anyway. Ooh. Oh. Oh, juice is is bad or good. It's Sheev. <gasps> he heard us. I'm dead. It's, it's, it's all capital letters. Oh, who taught, who taught? I didn't teach him that. The, That's the, not... he, he, he turned caps lock on and he can't turn it off. It may be an, an accident. <laughs> oh, okay. Could could have been. Could have been. Yeah. Yeah. He says all the uh, astro navigation is off target. <sighs> so we're not going to the Death Star. Where are we, <laughs> oh, where are we going? <laughs> he says they're lost. And there's no one. There's there's no gas station around to ask for directions. Uh, there there's no stars, no planet nearby. The well, the radar and navigations are are failing. Oh, he's really mad. All J words are in there. Oh, <laughs> oh he no. used all the all J words. Them? All of them. Oh my god. Re yes. Repeatedly. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's not happy with. How I handled the navs on these these new ships. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I see who's who's that CC? Is that anybody CC on there besides you? Just you? Not uh, just me. Just me. Okay, not a total loss then. And he looks. I'm gonna look right at you. Not. It's not an email. It's a, yeah, it's a text. Oh, yeah, send me a text but it's right. but it's formatted <laughs> as an email. It's a text that he formatted <laughs> as an email. Whoa, so he, email. he wrote body and then mm, continued yeah. to write the caps. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. He he took a lot of effort to do that. Yeah. I don't know why. He's learning the wrong things, but like in the correct format, I guess. That's mm -hmm. not my yeah. problem. But that that means. Hold on, let me go and I, I move inside the ship. <laughs> I, do, I work the space. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I type on the keyboard. Oh, we're getting some great prop work. Console. Prop yeah. work here, yeah, listeners. Props. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, I think we're uh, we're also off target. I think we're also drifting right now. I don't think we're gonna going. I don't think we're going to the second Death Star either. Don't That's fine for me. Love that. Don't love that. 
Um, any idea where we are? Let me triangulate quick, r- real quick. <laughs> or near. <laughs> what's a what's a what's a planet name you know? <laughs> you I mean, what's what's, a, what's couple, a planet name you know? It's a couple of them. You got name Cole. name one. Uh, name one. Yeah, Mustafar. Yeah. Mustafar. Yeah. Coruscant. <laughs> Tatooine. They're all different. Yeah, we're. Yeah. Looks like the closest planet, closest system is Mustafar. Whoa. Oh, maybe we can stop there and uh, that's, uh, um, do some tweaks. That's uh, Lord Vader's home. Yeah, he just. Oh, is it? Recently, Did he just move? He built a castle there. And, yeah. Uh, ooh. Yeah. It's not nice. I mean, it's not not yeah. nice. Yeah. You know. It is I don't nice. Think he likes it, me. I don't think he likes me either, because. Uh, no, he definitely. He's kind of a solo. Guy. Very, yeah, very anti officer, um, and that includes C suite execs. Uh, I, I know. Yeah. Um, Palpatine asked me for some specifics on his armor, too, and I'd, I would say most of the money I find come from uh, the suit, but <laughs> oh. there was, uh, was a lot of money in there. I don't think he'd need it all that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the guy's never lost. Well, except for the he know, hasn't the, lost the, yet. The, the whole but it's ah, coming. You know, melting. That's, it's part, hella yeah. coming. I mean, he does need that suit to live. So yeah. it, it, it sounds like <laughs> bit of a Glub. problem to cut corners on that old one. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like glove cut just enough that he doesn't feel you know, the effects. And that is the that is a can I just say a carking art form glove? That is like yeah. can I just you know I. Game recognized. <laughs> game recognized. Game recognized. Game. I must. It must be said. Yeah, I can tell you. In my years working standards and practices, I've never seen anyone uh, maneuver like that before, and still maintain their status and essentially gain praise from the emperor himself, mm-hmm. and keep it hidden from Lord Vader. I mean, you. Are... I think Vader thinks that's how Palpatine designed it. Oh. oh. Wow. Yes. It'd be a shame if, if that that it'd be a shame if that started any kind of resentment from. Well, Vader I think it did. Right? There's a whole master uh, apprentice thing, and I think he thinks Palpatine wants to keep him in check. There's oh. like a there's like I removed the thing. I had I, I had a whole part removed, the most expensive one. It just keeps giving him like electric shocks in the <laughs> back. Just <to> like. <laughs> Just, oh, good. I yes. hear he hates that. Keep the mm. most d- dangerous uh, mm-hmm. uh, Sith, most powerful force user in constant pain and agony. I, I, that's a, that is a power move, my friend. Yeah, that is that, a I removed power all the padding move. inside. It's just, it's just, <laughs> just, it's just it's, metal. It's, just, it's oh, chafe yeah. city. Oh. Wow. I, you know what? I, no wonder he likes his egg so much. I was going to say, <laughs> that's why he's always healing himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. But, uh, yep, that's where we're going. <laughs> we're going to Mustafar. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I guess there's no love lost between me and Lord Vader. Since we're here, and why don't we just step inside, you know? Check yeah, it you out. First. Yeah, you first when we get off. You first, for sure. Yeah? Okay. What did you bring with you <laughs> that endangers the emperor? So, since we're since we're since we're sneaking around in Lord Vader's ca- castle, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's yes. Um, I wanted to show you all something. I I brought something that I'm I'm rather proud of, and I just think it's real real neat. And I pull out like it it. It looks just like a, like a an onyx figurine, of of like some kind of weird, uh, Cthulian, Star Wars beast, and I'm like, this right here, this, is one of Palpy's Horcruxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Horcrux. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is that on my list? His uh, phylactery. His phylactery, if you will. Oh. I just like to keep it on me just, you know, to keep him close. I feel like I've got a part of him next to me. But if anything should ever happen to it, well, whoop. That's like a part of him just gone, vaped. Woo. Just out oh. there. So it's, it's his essence and force 
put into a physical form. Yes, yes. And it's kind of like broken up into several pieces, but I like to keep this one. And I think it's pretty. Well, good thing Good thing we're not going to get shot by uh, the yeah, rebels today. Good huh? thing. Good thing. Um, whoops. Oh, goodness. Almost <laughs> dropped it right into the lava there. <laughs> oh, goodness. My. <laughs> Whoo. That was close. Real close. Boy, these drinks have really made my accent just <laughs> fluctuate all over the place. Ah. Just like mine. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember my tone it's, anymore. It's I've lost really, my tone. Yeah, just loosened me up. I think you're probably the most consistent out of all of us. I <laughs> would hope so. Being standards and practices, I have to uphold the standard <laughs> and practice that standard. Nice. Oof. Are we are we walking? Are we outside the I, ship? I, I assume we we're inside the, the. I feel like we're in the castle. I don't know. Just there's like, lava in there too. Yeah, we're we're, meand, we're meandering about okay. the yeah. Darth Vader yeah. castle. Like, I like to imagine that we're walking around and like all this the troopers and officers that are here, they see us. They're like, oh shit, those are the standard and practice. That's the occult guy standing in practices. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy yeah. who get, that's the guy who cuts our checks. Like, no, oh, what's up? like salute? Like they <laughs> they don't question that we're there. They're just like. <laughs> Why are they together? That's the main question. Why are these three here? There has to be for a meeting. There's no way. Like when you see three big wigs at your company just walking around the office, you're like, oh shit, something's going down. Like <laughs> yeah. they're they're here talking to a client or they're here to like fire people. <laughs> you sometimes think you might be the Emperor's favorite. Why? And why does this worry you? I definitely oh, this, this one. yeah, this one works. This mm-hmm. one works. Yeah, you know if <laughs> if we're being completely honest, and he closes the door to whatever room we're inside of, like some small conference room. I don't, I don't relish the fact that I've been told this, but I, I have been told from time to time from some of the emperor's advisors and foot cleaners that uh, I'm his favorite. Just implications, you know, not facts, obviously. I don't enjoy that, as you know, because my plan was to destroy him and all of us on the Death Star 2, on the new Death Star. Uh, that plan is still in motion, so he's probably not going to make it. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want this. I, uh, I'd rather, you know, he hate me instead of touching my legs from time to time and you know trying to get me alone on a space on one of our frigates our cruisers and uh, scheduling business trips together i don't i don't want that i don't want to be something for this terrible awful being to attach itself to you just burst into tears. <laughs> like <laughs> sloppy, I, messy tears. And obviously, I don't want it to detract from our newfound friendship. <laughs> um, and, uh, <laughs> Glub's eyes go wide. And he just says, Uh, uh, uh hello, Lord Vader. <laughs> Did you hear all of that? You're awfully quiet, Lord Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Just some uh, heavy breathing. Uh, <laughs> Royalty-free breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he just walked into the room and just walked out again. Wow, right, without, without saying a <laughs> single thing. How lucky we were. <laughs> I guess uh, I don't... Uh, I don't want it to be that way. You give and you give and you give yourself to someone and they just... They just don't acknowledge any of that and then they just give it away to somebody else who doesn't even want it I mean Eugene this is not this is not a you issue this is a being an emperor thing but I'm happy for you I guess or I'm I'm unhappy for you I'm unhappy for myself come here come here come here here. (laughs) he gives you a big hug it's okay you it's okay we can always do the uh the acid to the face like what happened to me I can't remember exactly what I said at the beginning of this game, but I know that something happened to my face and uh, oh, it was just oh yeah, acne. It was acne. Acne. <laughs> just a regular part of puberty. Yeah, I mean, we could we could maybe find some sort of genetic experimentation to disfigure your face if, if that's what he's into, because I think that's what he's into. His face is kind of like that too. Yeah, that's that's probably why. Maybe he sees himself I, in you, which would you know. 
that would point to his vanity being a main. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. I believe that. I'll do it. I'll I'll do it. Yeah, I just think it's like, f- what else do I have to do? I've done everything. I've done the crystals and the rituals. I do the the whispers in the ear. I do every all his bidding. Are the whispers what else? In the ear? Is that a literal thing that people do? Oh yeah. That's not- huh. He likes it. Oh, I see. Okay, it's one of those those letter th- kinks thing that I don't quite understand. I get. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I don't know it's if a, it's a his of- kink, but he likes it. I mean, a lot of people have that stuff on their file. I could, we could clearly go through it if you need more uh, details. Not about the emperor, obviously. I don't have a file on him. He, that's definitely not allowed. Um, yeah, just I, I mean, eliminate the competition. Oh, it sounds like that's you, Eugene. And I, I, I must be <laughs> honest. This is this trip has really put some things into perspective for me, and I, I wouldn't compromise that for almost anything. Likewise, I uh, i mean, obviously, I still plan on getting us all killed the minute we touch, set foot on the Death Star, huh? the second Death Star. <laughs> well, 66 orphans might say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Should we get back on yeah. the ship now? Let's yeah, I think we should go back. We should get out of here. The yeah. elevator coming coming in here and see. I us hear was... him. I hear him <laughs> coming down the hall. You, it's hard to miss him. He's breathing. We're commandeering a ship from this planet. <laughs> a working ship with working navigation systems. But still, That's all of them are, they're do. all failed, right? They all failed the armor inspection from mm-hmm. what I understand. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's no escaping that. That's still a thing. Probably, yeah. Okay. Well, Vader has his own private plane. This one's pretty good, though. Oh, that's right. It's the... Oh, the e- e- executor, yes. Yeah. The executor. I mean, isn't, no, that's the big one. Isn't that the... That's yeah, the, that's the big one. <laughs> it's we, right over... Th- I can see it. Boys, I'm a little drunk, and I'm me too. feeling frisky. Should we just prank Lord Vader and take it? We ship? should prank we Vader. Should. We should do it. We can, with this ship, we can locate Palpy. You can come in, swoop in, save him, win his heart. That'll get him, get him off of Eugene's thighs. Yeah, please. I would I would very much appreciate that. And we got the best ship of the, the, the whole empire with us. That'll remind Palpy that the, sh- the fleet is... Mm-hmm. 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 Top mint condition. Yeah, top, <laughs> top of the line. He might even be with. And let me float this. If he sees that kind of initiative, he might even be willing to, you know, make sure there's another eighty-five hundred thousand credits to some other indisputable people in his staff, right? I don't mind. If I have to start snorting horny crystals, I'll do it. <laughs> the rebels paid me a nice amount to ensure that he's on the second Death Star, so money's not a real problem for me. <laughs> well, we're back on the ship, Xavier. Would you mind pulling up one last prompt? <laughs> yes, let me. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Oh, are you getting another text from from Pal? <laughs> no, no, no. I was. That was me. Uh, going on my blog. <laughs> oh, 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 this is interesting. Wow. <laughs> huh. We're on the ship. Nice sights, you know. We, it's the uh, uh, light speed, uh, hyper hyperspace um, lighting in the ship. And we're kind of like, we're all silent. For, we've been silent for a while. Like the whole Mustafar trip kind of like <sighs> cooled us down. Gentlemen, I think we're close enough now. There's something I haven't said already. There's a reason I've been poorly distributing money around. I'm trying to sabotage the whole thing. Whoa. Whoa. (laughs) I mean, like, set up an ambush sabotage? I mean... Not exactly. I'm trying to destroy the whole thing. Like the whole thing, every the whole, the Ooh. whole whole thing. And while I appreciate you bringing in the rebels into this, this might, this might help us, gentlemen. The emperor is not 
my emperor. <gasps> Why do I serve him anyway? Because I want to restore the Jedi Temple. Oh. I will restore the order. I think Eugene looks at you. Okay, so he's a fanatic. That's oh, great. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's not, not, not my emperor. Oh. <laughs> the, closest, the closest I'll get to him, the easier it will be for me to bring balance back. Oh, this is like a cosmic thing. This, oh, like, the whole, yeah. Yeah, yeah the yeah. whole thing. Oh, I, oh. Hey, hey. Why do you think I just play along with your stuff? I, you know, Glub. You just play along with my <laughs> stuff? It's your, your baby mystical arts. <laughs> baby mystical I'm, arts? Oh, I'm I'll have here. you know I went to baby mystical arts community <laughs> college. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, Glub, this is... I'm out here trying to safeguard all the lost knowledge of millennia of Jedi training. I'm... <laughs> That's right. I said it. I can say it. Yeah, I mean, if you're yeah, if you're part of him, I think you can say the J. Yeah, part of yeah. Him. <laughs> but also, I'd like to just point out something, Glup. Not all of us feed into this, you know, not my Emperor 2024 stuff. That's not what <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. We're going to have to take a kind of a little uh, friendship break if that's kind of what you're promoting here. OK, because, you know, facts are facts and albeit it was not a real election and you know there wasn't oppositions that ran against the emperor he kind of is by law and all intents and purposes the emperor but go on continue with whatever you're gonna say go off queen i mean edward you are plotting to kill him the, the very definition of not my emperor how dare you <laughs> call me by my unassigned non-canonical name of edward when it is eugene Oh, Eugene, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> oh, no. Eugene, I'm so sorry I used your middle name. I, I, this is going I don't know to how HR. you found it. <laughs> yeah, but no one has access to my personnel files but me. So You you serve the Jedi Order. No, I, I'm, I'm kind of like you. I'm a, I was a big fan. Oh, big, big fan. Big of fan. What they did. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I sort of like put my twist on, the, on, on it, too. It's... Uh, I don't think they'd approve of how, of how I practice it, mm. but I, I, I still think Palpatine needs to go down. He's got to go. Well, I, I, can, I can agree with you there. I can agree with you there. That's, yeah. We, we're, we're in line. I'm, I, I, I can't go that far with you all. I, I've got to say, I'm, I'm still a Palpy Stan. You know? <laughs> I, I, I can't blame it, you. It won't mean, yeah, it won't matter, though, when we reach... Than the new Death Star. So it it'll matter to me, you know, and that's what I, that's what I'm learning is it it if it matters to me, then if it's important to me to pursue it, you know, mm -hmm. stand in your truth. Yeah, you can you can stand in the truth with, you know, Emperor the Emperor Palpatine, as the fighters lock in and the bombs drop on the Death Star. You can both stand together in your truth, fiery, hot, plasma filled truth. If you're lucky, you can be a force ghost. Yes. And if you're lucky, it won't be stuck in that fiery ghost, like mm -hmm. fiery burning state. That yeah. You if, yes. if they make yes. a hollow, if they make Hopefully. a hollow bit about you, you can take the form of the more handsome version that is going to replace you in the hollow bit, because we all right. know that ho hollow bit stars are inexplicably handsome. Mm -hmm. The emperor is under attack. Do you defend him? The executor pulls up on the, <laughs> on the moon of Endor, <laughs> around the Which moon of Endor. I think that does happen in the movie. The, the executor is there. <laughs> Something um, special happens to it. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, wow. There is a lot of fighting going on. Yep. He looks at his watch. Sounds about right. So you weren't joking, huh? I mean, no, they paid me a lot, and I gave them a lot. Uh, what's over there? Let's just hide in the shadow of that moon for a while. Just, like, wait it out. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, this has been lovely, everyone, but I, I, I do have to go. I, 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 my, my emperor needs me, and I need to be there, you know, come through wheel or woe. Okay, well, 
Bye, you. <laughs> it's it's you. It's been nice. It's been it's, it's been it real. Ha- you know, it has. You've been swept. It's been it's been real. real. Yeah, I've had a good time. And I and I promise, if I do end up being turned into a forest ghost, I will haunt you both, so that we like can that. hang out. So that we can oh. hang out. You know, okay. Yeah, that's good. You know, hang out. I appreciate that. Well, I yeah, I'm gonna take a uh, an escape pod. Hopefully, I land on a very far away planet, and I can live there as a hermit for the rest of my life. Uh, hopefully, someone finds me someday, and I can pass on my knowledge. That's kind of the general vibe. That's what Jedi's do now. Sure, sure. I mean, uh, there so a lot, uh, not a lot of them left, but yeah. No, no, not a lot. There's me, canonical glub shit. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna grab these bottles here, and uh, <laughs> oh, well, yeah. uh, best best of luck to you, Hube, uh, Eugene. I hope your money serves you well in hell. Mm, um, no, it won't. But I will be happy just to see the emperor down there with me. Cool. Um, let me know how that goes. So bye. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene, it really has been a pleasure. And it, yeah. <laughs> just shake hands. Yeah, shake hands. Yeah. Step yeah, inside. You know, it's been good. Are you are you gonna take a escape pod or, or, or should No, I, something just, tells me this is this is gonna take me where I need to go. So I'm just gonna ride the executor to The executor, alright, I'll get in the escape pod. I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go down to the to that desk dot. It's looking good, you know. Mm-hmm. Glub did a good job. He's He's an artist, you know? He's a real uh, artist with that. It's miss, it seems like it's missing a fourth or maybe even a half of what needs to be done, but uh, it's, uh, it's looking good. It is, it is, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, take care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, Eugene looks out the window of the executor. We're getting really close to the Death Star. Cut to the scene from Return of the Jedi where the executor <laughs> is slamming into the Death Star head first. <laughs> yeah, g- dude. <laughs> That was incredible, y'all. Uh, I had so much fun playing it, and that was for the queen or for the emperor. So, uh, again, if you're if you liked what we played, uh, uh, Evil Hat Productions uh, makes that game. We'll have it in the show notes. Uh, what did y'all think? How, uh, did you have fun playing? Did you have a good time? Yeah. It was a f- super fun game. Yeah, it felt <laughs> like it felt like I was in. Uh, the acting class, but like the extra credit version where it's like, if school's <laughs> over, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. And the teacher's just, the acting teacher's there playing the acting game with you, and he's just like saying shit that he normally wouldn't say with the students, but he's like, fuck it, it's the last day. Let's go, let's go wild. Last day before it's, summer vacation. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's very it's, specific, but very right. Yeah, because yeah. it's like the, the, te- the teacher, it's like, it's like playing improv game with your teacher, but they're cursing, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah. Like holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. They just dro- like, did they just drop a J word? Did, did the they J just word? say it? Did they just say one of those J words? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you both for, for playing and and we're we're excited to have Xavier be a part of the, the main campaign moving forward. So if you if you like that and you and you liked hearing this beautiful man's voice, like you're oh, gonna thank you. you're gonna love what we are doing next. So get hyped for that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, thanks everyone. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Respect the Crits, Empire's Edge. If you like what you heard, please consider supporting us by leaving us a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or whatever platform you use to listen. It's easy, free, helps others learn about the show, and we love reading your feedback. For more information about the show, visit at Respect the Crit on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or come chat with us in our official Discord. Big Axe is played by Alex Herrera, who you can find on Twitter at A.E. Herrera, or on his Twitch channel, WadeWolf10. L.O. is played by Jamie Lee Bonez, who you can find on Instagram and TikTok at Jamie M.F. Bones. Zalora is played by Susan Spinader, who you can find on Instagram at Suze Laluz. I'm Ian Duncan, your 
host and GM. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at iDunks. The music in this episode is provided with license or permission by a variety of talented artists whose info and credits can be found in the episode notes. Please support them by visiting their platforms to hear more of their work. The Star Wars role-playing system is published by Fantasy Flight Games. And remember, whatever the system, whether it's a miss or a hit, you always gotta respect the crit. Thank you very much, and may the Force be with you. Thank you.